We've had dry skies through the day, holding on to a lot of sunshine too. However, I am tracking some changes. We'll start to see the risk of showers going up as we head through the night tonight, and you'll need to have an umbrella at least on standby during the daytime tomorrow. Threat tracker, we are going to keep it in the low threat level while we do have some showers and possibly an embedded thunderstorm in the forecast for later tonight and Tuesday. I don't expect any severe storms. We are going to be watching a slow moving area of low pressure drift overhead Tuesday. Once it's out of here, the heat is on. We've got our temperatures that will likely hit 80 degrees or higher Wednesday inland for the first time since the end of September. Looking at our live uh, camera here from our hurricane barrier point at the highway. Beautiful afternoon underway and in Newport you can see mostly clear skies as well. 68 at the harbor right now in Newport. Middletown's in the lower 70s. So is Warwick at 73. Providence at the Rhode Island College campus. One of the warmer spots right now. 75 degrees and Smithfield's also in the mid 70s. We may climb another degree or two as we move into the afternoon hour. Sunshine will give way to some late day clouds. It'll stay very mild the sun won't set until after 8 this evening. So here's the setup tracking some showers two hours south and west part of an area of low pressure that's going to drift northward here over the next 24 to 36 hours and bring us the risk of some showers. So I think we'll be fine through the rest of the day today after school activities, sports games, all should be able to go off without a hitch. Looking at those clouds filling in tonight. This is at midnight and by tomorrow morning's commute showers possible and some embedded thunderstorms again not severe ones, but enough to enhance the rainfall and possibly even hearing those uh, claps of thunder. Looking at three o'clock in the afternoon, still some scattered showers around. I think the highest risk of seeing showers and storms will be the first half of the day, and then they'll be spottier, especially by the time we head into the evening on Tuesday. For this commute this evening, just fading sunshine, but otherwise dry. Sunglasses maybe still needed. Later tonight, we're going to bring in that threat of some showers. Temperatures stay milder tonight. We were in the 40s last night and mid 50s for the overnight low tonight. And then by mid to late week, starting Wednesday, we're going to get a shift in the jet stream. This is what the jet stream can look like in the summertime where we've got a ridge over the eastern United States, allowing that warm air to come in under a west and southwest flow. And the result will be temperatures warmer than we've had in almost 240 days. Looking at that seven day future cast 76 for today. So with the showers around tomorrow, there will be some extra clouds. Temperatures will be stuck in the middle 60s for highs most spots and then those temperatures really climb to around 83 for the high on Wednesday still near 80 Thursday might have to add a shower into that Thursday night early Friday time frame with a weak front that's going to come through it knocks our temperatures down just a little bit and then we're still close to 80 degrees for your high on both Saturday and even Sunday and Monday looking at least slightly warmer than average well into the 70s.